My name is Don Ebubeo. I'm the MD of Tiger Foods Limited. The Intra African Trade Fair, uh, we heard about it from Fidelity Bank and the NEPC. We got invitation from both organizations uh, simultaneously and then we decided to accept the offer from both organizations. And uh, by coming here and then uh, displaying our products under Fidelity Bank Pavilion, it's an indication that um, we want to partner more and work more with Fidelity Bank. Quite good, we've met a lot of contacts, majorly the export market. We've seen so many people showing interest in our products. And then we've also met some Nigerians in diaspora from Egypt, from other African countries, making inquiries in some of our native products, indigenous spices and the food ingredients. The Fidelity Bank as a bank has done something interesting by visiting our factory, trying to understand our business. In doing that, they have been able to get a grip into our challenges and uh, working with us to ensure our backward integration is on track and then uh, helping us to expand that aspect of business by aggregating farmers, uh, uh, financing our downliners and ensuring that our local raw materials are delivered to our factory on time without um, um, uh, spending more than what we used to do. So Fidelity Bank as a bank is more into uh, agri-business than what we've witnessed before with other banks. And uh, I think with what they have done also in this program, it's an indication that the bank is uh, agri-friendly and uh, I think it's, uh, going to be, it's going to be a good partnership with uh, Fidelity Bank. I'm going to do some, a couple of exports to Egypt in a couple of weeks. Uh, one is um, uh, hibiscus flowers, which um, Egypt is also having, but we're having a competitive advantage in Nigeria. And then another company is interested in ginger, splits ginger dried, which we're also going to export. A Nigerian who is uh, having an um, African shop here is looking at um, some of our indigenous products like uh, coconut flour and uh, uh, ginger powder, curry powder, which we've made in Nigeria. So the business is uh, going to be good from the way we are looking at things. One big challenge we are having, which Fidelity Bank is trying to work out something for us, is um, financing the value chain, the downliners and the value chain. We have a lot of farmers in the north uh, who are helping us to achieve our backward integration. Major problem is trying to aggregate all these produce, get them ready as raw materials before we uptake them. So we are working with Fidelity Bank to get these farmers to get uh, soft finances to be able to increase their capacity and then uh, supply to Tiger Foods Limited. Well, uh, it has been a rosy relationship, that's why I'm here. And uh, I think from the way we are going and the way they are trying to understand the business, I think uh, our relationship with Fidelity Bank is going to help us to leapfrog our growth. So these are a range of our products. Um, this has been our pioneer product. Been in the Nigerian market for more than 15 years. Followed by this. These are the products we are now sourcing from Nigerian farmers. This is garlic powder, this is uh, chili powder. This is bay leaves, this is onion powder, uh, onion flakes, which we are also producing on our factory. This is um, dry vegetables, which we did for Anambra State Government for their export um, program. This is our newest product, Kukoyam flour, for cooking um, indigenous uh, soups. We launched this in Seattle, France, when we went with uh, NAPC uh, as a delegation. This is also turmeric, which we are sourcing from Kaduna and uh, Plateau State. Then these are seasonings. We have a, a range of seasonings in our stable. So these are just uh, little samples we came for this uh, intra-African trade fair. In our factory, we have about seven different indigenous products.